Welcome back to Slim Comics and More. We are going to take another look at some back issues. This is back issue part 41. Uh, first, I'm going to show you a uh, another Bowen mini sculpture. This is the Phoenix. So the Phoenix, this one here, this one came out around 2003 by Bo from Bowen Designs. Nice looking Phoenix in the green and gold costume. Bone Designs, he does a lot of great little uh, mini busts and sculptures also. He's got some pretty good designs. Nice back there. So yeah, so this is the Phoenix. This is the green and gold version. And take a look at the stand here. The stand has her coming out of uh, water. Nice cool looking uh, water design. And this one here, this is number 2060 out of 3000, came out in 2003. So yeah, so this is the Phoenix Miniature Sculpture by uh, Bowen Designs. Alright, so these books, uh, these X-Men books I picked up along the way. Um, some Silver Age and uh, mostly Bronze Age uh, books. Uh, first you have here is uh, X-Men 19. So this is the origin and first appearance of the Mimic, Kevin Rankin. Pretty nice looking cover. Classic X-Men. And it's a Kirby, Roth, and Ayers cover. Okay, so next one you got X-Men issue 23. So this one has um, Count Nefaria, L, Unicorn, Porcupine, Plant Man, and Scarecrow appearance. Uh, art is by Warner Roth and Dick Ayers. Okay, next you have X-Men 68. So this one has the Sentinels appearance uh, fighting the X-Men. And then you also have the Origin of the Beast. Okay, next, so this one is X-Men issue 143, so this is the Christmas cover. This one has the uh, Kitty Pride solo story. Uh, it's a Chris Claremont story, John Burns and Terry Austin art, and Terry Austin cover. Okay, next up, you got issue 147. This one you have appearance from Doctor Doom and Arcade Appearance. So you have Dave Cockrum and Joe Rubenstein uh, cover and art. The uh, story is by Chris Claremont. Cool cover. Okay, next one you got issue 155. So this one you have the first appearance of the Brood. Uh, you got Star Jammers and Tiger Appearance. This one is uh, Dave Cockrum and Bob Wojcik cover and art. Stories by Chris Claremont. So this is the first brood. Okay, next is uh, 156. So this one here, you got the Star Jammers on the cover. This one here, this is 158. So this is the first appearance of Rogue in title. You also got Star Jammers, Mystique, and Carol Danvers appearance in here. It's a Chris Claremont story, and you got Dave Cockrum uh, cover art. Okay, next you got issue 159. So this one, I believe, a Storm is a vampire. Then you also have a Dracula appearance in this issue. Uh, the cover is by Bill Sankiewicz. Okay, next up you got issue 160. So in this issue 160, you have the first appearance of Adult Ileana, um, Adult Magic. And stories by Chris Claremont, uh, Brent Anderson, and Bob Wiasek is the cover and art. Okay, next you got 162. So this one here has a solo Wolverine story. Covers by Dave Cockrum and uh, Bob Wiasek. I believe the story is by Chris Claremont. 
Okay, next you got 163. So this one has a appearance of Carol Danvers. Nice cover. Got the brood on the cover there. Okay, next is uh, 164. So uh, this one here, Miss um, Marvel becomes a uh, binary. This is the first binary. Nice cover by David Cockrum and uh, Bob Wiasek. Okay, next you got 165. Uh, the brood here looks like a storm uh, becomes a brood. I believe this is the first uh, Paul Smith um, art. This is uh, Paul Smith art starts here. Okay, next is 166. So 166 here, you get the first appearance of Lockheed. You get binary and the brood appearance and origin of Akanti, I believe. So you get Paul Smith cover and uh, stories by uh, Chris Claremont. Nice cover by Paul Smith. Okay, next up you got 167. 167, you got the New Mutants, Star Jammers, Lilandra, uh, and Gladiator appearance, and Fantastic Four cameo appearance. And uh, covers by Paul Smith. Okay, next up you got 168. This one here has the first appearance of adult Madeline Pryor and also has Lockheed appearance. Paul Smith cover and the Chris Claremont story. Okay, next is 170. You have Mystique, Rogue, Callisto, and Morlocks appearance. Paul Smith does the cover and now Chris Claremont is the writer. This one here, this is 174, uh, has appearance of Mastermind, Star Jammers, Lilandra, Binary, and Mariko Yashida appearance. This one here, stories by Chris Claremont, art is by Paul Smith and Bob Wiasek. Okay, next is 176. Nice cover of uh, Cyclops there. Looks like he's underwater. And uh, this art is by John Romita Jr. And this is the last one to show you guys. This is uh, issue 186. Life, Death, A Love Story. So this one has the appearance of Forge with Storm there. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next video. Pick what you like and like what you pick. Have a good one, guys. Take it easy. Bye.